in Midtown. I do, but I made a friend in the area. What? And he can't buy his own condoms? Please. Buying them is his first excuse to not wearing them. And then I have to listen to the next 5,000 excuses, and I'm lucky if we get busy by sunrise. Yeah. I'm here, you know, filling up prescription. Again? No, birth control. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could be on the pill, but I can't. Just blood clots run in my family. Hey, it's not so easy for me either. I mean, I'm on the pill, and it gives me anxiety, so I'm on meds for that. It lowers my libido, so I'm on meds for that. And then those pills give me depression, so I'm on meds for that. I mean, I hate that it's screwing up my brain, but can't really hold my breath to wait for men to take their share of the responsibility. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go, Zoe! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, tell Natalie what you told me about that birth control shot for men. Oh, yes, the hormonal contraceptive pill for men. Wow. Yeah, which is basically a shot of testosterone, which you know, won't be available anytime soon due to the side effects in trial runs. Are they growing dicks on their foreheads? <laughs> <laughs> you ladies, you jokers. <laughs> no, no, uh, side effects include headaches, muscle pain, moodiness, some depression, and, you know, in rare cases, infertility. Yeah. So the exact same thing that women experience on the pill. Yes, exactly. And tell me how men are tougher than women, right? I know, right? But then when it's come, come time to move a heavy box, they're like, oh, let me can I do that for you? I don't want you to hurt yourself, being all chivalrous. Then later that night, it's like, what? You want me to sheath my penis in latex? <laughs> Why don't you just take some synthetic estrogen? I know, it's funny. <laughs> Like, they never show any emotion or react to any sort of pain whatsoever, and then all of a sudden, it's like, what, you want to write me a sonnet on the pleasures of unprotected sex? You know, ladies, oh. <laughs> when I'm not working here in the pharmacy, I have uh, carried out my own research, and I've developed a method that I think your boyfriends could try out. Mm. Slip these pills to your boyfriends. Oh. And this will manage their fertility. No, it's a ketamine tablet. <laughs> yes, yes, once they're unconscious, get them in a car and bring them to my garage at this address. Uh, what, what exactly are you going to do to them? Oh, nothing much. Just a little brain surgery. <laughs> you know, it'll only cost you a nickel, too. Here, see, this was my last patient. And this is effective? Yes, yes. As you can see, we drill a hole into the skull, take your nickel, and with a rubber mallet, we pound the coin into the brain. Fascinating. Yes, yes. The medical terminology for the procedure is called an ICD, intracranial device. Okay. Oh. Yeah. I mean, you could also call it knocking some sense into the brain. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, it seems reasonable. Sign me up. Uh, me too. Okay, <laughs> great. And you know, if that doesn't work, my garage has a pair of pruning shears. <laughs>